Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Technical Solutions Consultant here at TPM. Today's topic is going to be the new feature in Revit 2020 that allows us to connect a panel to a panel through feed-through lugs. So with that said, let's go to Revit 2020. Now over here in Revit, I have a drawing that I already have a lot of things um, circuited here. So I've just got just these lights right here I need to circuit. And I'm going to circuit them to this LP3B panel I have right here. So just to review circuiting, I'm going to select an object I want to circuit. Go to Power. Choose the panel that I want it to connect to. In this case, it's our LP3B. Edit that circuit and add the other lights that I want to be a part of that circuit. Now, when I do that, and let's take a look at this. So I'm going to create a panel schedule for LP3B. This is the load I have currently on LP3B. 3,744. Now, right now, I'm going to circuit LP3B through to LP3A, and currently it has 6220. So, to, just like creating a circuit um, we did earlier for a circuit for a panel, I just simply select the panel, go to Power, and choose the panel that I'm going to connect it to. In this case, I'm going to connect it to LP3A. Now when I do, notice that it puts a breaker here on LP3A and I do have the combined um, load of the, the two panels together. Now historically that's the way we've been able to connect two panels. So what we're going to do now is show you a new method. So I'm going to go back to my LP3B and I'm going to go into the electrical circuits tab up here at the top. And this time I'm going to change the connector type. This, is, this was not available prior to 2020 Revit. So I'm going to change it to feed through lugs. And it gives me an error message that tells me, do I want to enable it? And I'll just go ahead and say enable it. And when I do, if I take a look at the properties of this panel, feed through lugs, lugs is now checked. And if we look at the actual panel schedule, Notice it is not a circuit over here on panel LP3A. Now, if I were to connect LP3A, so let me go ahead and make it go into MCB3. And then let's look at the panel schedule. I have not only my transformer, but I have LP3A, and it has the entire load of the two panels that were fed together with feed-through lugs. This has been a much-needed feature, and I'm happy to say that it's now in 2020. The last thing I need to show you about this is how the panels are numbered. Currently, LP3A is numbered 1 through 12, and LP3B is numbered 1 through 12. Okay, so over here I'm going to choose LP3 and choose how it is numbered. Instead of making it numbered each one individually, I'm going to continue the numbering from LP3A into LP3B. 
Now when I choose LP3B, instead of it starting at 12, it now starts at 13 and goes through 24. So those are the new Thank features for watching in another 2020 in our as they apply to four minute Fridays from TPM. Look for us at TPM.com or you can subscribe to TPM Solutions channel on YouTube. Once again, thank you for watching.